Yes, over here. Um, What's your name and where are you from? Uh, <laughs> I've never met you before in my life. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Is this you your car keys? <laughs> we should, why aren't we on a cruise ship? We should... uh, Brent, yes, ma'am. Can we expect to see any cameos from you um, in any of the Star Trek um, reboots? I'm not allowed to talk about Star Trek right now. Oh, it's, that's uh, fine. it's a whole other franchise. Okay. So, uh, oh, can you expect to see me? Can I expect to see me? Is the question. I have no yeah. idea. They do. This uh, particular delightful romantic uh, disaster. Uh, uh, thing uh, he he made fresh and um, yes and he so I was delighted to do that and with him and all his new prowess and new toys you know special effects wise um, but he's the same he's particular do you know him have you seen him yeah, well he is particularly creative childlike enthusiastic uh, passionate kind. Teacherly, I learned a lot from him and had a blast hanging out with him. He's soulful, uh, wise, a wonderful human being, a kind and, and creative. Just He's smart. Wonderful. He's smart too. He's so smart. And he tells you stories about you know, all the people that he's worked with. And yeah, he's, that's so, so good. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to have a question for me? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. Hey, everyone. Hey. Hey. We are so, so, so excited to be back for Independence Day Resurgence. As you all know, it's been 20 years uh, since we did the first one, and we're just so happy that finally we got it done. What's it feel like to be back in that world? You know, it felt like a wonderful high school reunion, <laughs> to be very honest with you, to show up and see a lot of the OGs from um, Jeff Goldblum, uh, Judd Hirsch, Bill Pullman, uh, Rick Spiner, who they brought back from the dead. We don't find anything else in the sci fi world. You know, anything can happen. You know, he wakes up and boom, he's back. <laughs> um, and then we have an amazing, amazing new group of young warriors that are leading the way. Jesse T. Usher, who is playing my son. Dylan, who is going to be fighting for us, along with Liam Ainsworth, who wanted to be here with us, but he had a back injury, so he wasn't able to make it. And where, where is that, Mike? Mike Monroe. So we got some girl power. Oh, she's doing a sport <laughs> um, So it's a wonderful uh, opportunity for us to introduce Generation Next to what it's like when we all band together and kick some alien butts. <laughs> so that's been the funnest part. And we shot in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, I was really thrilled this time that we had six sound stages, sound stage, six stages. And yeah, and that, you know, the special effects helped us a lot because the first, first Independence Day, we did a lot of like went right. over, oh my gosh. I remember like changing a couple of different shades of, uh, of chocolate, <laughs> and, and it was lovely. So we had a lot, a lot of special effects. We got an amazing new cast, and we'll be coming out June 24th, 2016. And at one point, this was planned as a trilogy of sequels. Is that still the case? You said originally it was planned as a trilogy. Yeah. Well, we, we have to stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> we have to stay tuned and see who survives. But you know, I, I think that um, I mean we all began to do another one, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, we began to do another one. I mean, people really love Independence Day, so now we've got Independence Day one and Independence Day resurgence. So you know, we need to have a marathon of it. So why not Independence Day group, right? Yep. What do you think we should call it? Independence Day tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow, we have to do it. that to roll it. Yes, we'll get to do it. For sure. Who, by the way, was with us a little bit earlier today? He literally rushed back to LA and finished cutting the film. You see, that's why you guys are the creators. Yes. Absolutely. We keep going, keep on pushing. What was it like for you to play the commander in chief? It may be my favorite role. That's your control. She is strong and tough with a sense of ignite radiant force. Um, just, just an awesome embodiment of a female president. We should all be so lucky. Yes, <laughs> yes. thank you. Yeah. Jesse, what was it like having one of the lead roles? What was it like having one of the lead roles? Yeah. In a film like this? It's <laughs> mind blowing. Um, I mean, I tell people all the time, as an actor, you kind of come up watching these films in production and you see them in the theaters and you, you can only, you know, you can imagine like, wow, what would it be like to be a part of a film like that? And then you get cast in a film like that. 
it, it's almost surreal. You know, you, you can never really wrap your head around what the film is and what it could be um, in the moment. And then, you know, eventually you start seeing trailers of, of this gigantic film and you start to see yourself in it. And it's just like this reoccurring, uh, this awe, this moment of awe that just continues to happen over and over again. Today we saw a new trailer. And, yes. You know, I was just mind blown yet again. It's like, wow. What, what's <laughs> it like to work with the great Vivica? What's it like to do? She's she is motherly on and off the camera. Let me tell you. She she <laughs> <laughs> off camera. You know she gave me everything I needed when when the when the uh, cut all the confidence that I needed to, to be able to perform. You know she was right there for me every step of the way. So thank you very much. So do the young fighters have some new methods of beating the aliens, or do they need to <laughs> rely on some of the OGs? Yes, 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 OG. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, there's one OG that's definitely gonna be there teaching them, you know, you know, uh, how, how to work things. So it's a wonderful combination of the of the OGs and and our new warriors combined. It's, it's lovely. Real quick. Yes. We can't give away. Right. <laughs> Roland would be like, oh. <laughs> Wait, who's talking to me? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All the way in the back. Ask me that again. How serious was I about running? <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I don't know, like, you know, so what they say in the acting world sometimes is that scripts come to you for a reason, wherever you are in your life, or, you know, that kind of thing. Do you? And I get cast in this as the president, right? Love playing the role. Love this type of president, so when we have this type of president in our country. Then I get cast in the McNulty in a show called Braves, <laughs> where filmed after this, where I play his first lady, former first lady, the <laughs> current president. And then one of the writers of this script called me and said, you know what, I'm writing another script that's a great part for you. You're the mayor. This is a sub. I might really need to run for office. <laughs> 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 So, President Obama, sorry, sorry, we have to wrap. I'm sorry. Thank you. Oh, sorry, guys.